So I pulled the side mirrors off my MG because I wanted to paint them. Uh, because my car it's got some paint defects. And of course, as I was removing that, broke. So what should I go and do? Race car mirror. So let's get to mocking them up there. So the original mirrors just went on like that. So I've got a couple of options. What I've got to do is either install them onto the door. Like that. Or potentially create a plate and install them there. Now I've got to figure out the height. If that looks a bit weird there. So I'll do a little bit of mocking up and then come back to you guys. So this is kind of what it looks like with the plate mounted with the original mirror goes. And this is what it looks like mounted up so that it's attached to the door and the mirror is in about the same place as the factory mirror would be and honestly i think i like this a lot more so we'll go with it so i've just started by masking up where the plate of the mirror is going to go. Now we're just going to find a nice flat spot where this is going to mount nicely to. So I am going to use a rubber spacer, rubber gasket underneath to protect everything from moisture. So I'm just gonna take some measurements and once it's all drawn up on the paper, I'll bring you back. So what I've done is drawn up some lines, so that's the center line there and with this old housing circle and then right down I've just smirked up the edge of the base plate and then traced the base plate out and the two mounting points. Um, I've also jotted down the distance from the center line to the front of the door there at 15.1 centimeters so that I can accurately mock it up on the other side as well. So I've just done the exact same thing on this side and then what I'm going to do is drill a hole here and a hole here for mounting and then I'm going to use some nut suits or roof nuts and then I'm just going to mount the mirrors on some bolts so let's get that done. Eh? Um, before I do that, what you're probably wondering is what I'm going to do with um, these holes here. So what I have is some um, aluminium plate, about 5 mil thick, and I'm just going to uh, cut two circles out of that that's going to fit inside here. Yeah, there's a little lip in there, and it's just going to get bolted down with uh, some hardware. 
Right, let's drill these holes. So I'm just going to mark where I'm going to drill. Slowly step up now, I'm going to drop it size and I'm just going to be careful. So I don't wreck anything inside the door panel. Just like that. So uh, that eight and a half mil drill bit now. Final drill bit is a nine millimeter. I'll just this bit to make sure. Yep, nice and snug. Perfect. There's two. Let's pop our mirror on. Uh, the hardware I'm just going to use is temporary for now. I will get some nicer ones. So like I said, I will also be getting a making a rubber gasket. To go between the mirror. Now 
let's just put on a little blanking plate. Sit that in there. Just like that. And there you have it. So what I'm going to be doing is painting the blinking plate black and do a couple of dress up bolts in there to hold it on and I'll get a couple of sand steel bolts to hold the mirror on there as well as a rubber gasket but that looks pretty good if you ask me. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content relating to my MGF, my Mitsubishi Triton, or under all this junk, my Sleeker GT4, which I'll be getting back to very soon. I've got a clutch on order, and so that way I can put the gearbox and the engine back together and then put the engine back in the car. So stay tuned for more on that.